What's up guys, this is Seth. Today I want to show you one of the most basic and simple things that I think everybody should know how to do. What I'm talking about is changing the tire. So many girls I know out here tell me I don't need to, I have AAA, or I got a boyfriend down the street that'll do it for me. What happens if your phone dies? What happens if that guy is not picking up his phone? I'm going to show you how to do it yourself so that you're never left stranded. Step number one, pull the emergency brake. You're gonna do this so that the car doesn't roll off the jack. So the first place it normally is, is right here in the middle console. Simply pull it up, and now your car is locked. Or, in other cars, it might be down here where you simply just push on the emergency brake. So whether you're pushing or pulling, make sure you lock that emergency brake. So now we got the emergency brake set. This is the next step. You're gonna take this, twisting side on the outside, and you're gonna slide it underneath the car. Now what you're feeling for now, is gonna be a metal bar. That you're simply gonna line the middle of this with the metal bar right inside the middle of it. That way you know you have the most secure part of the car. Just gonna twist it up. And once I know it's secure right in between, that's when I can start to jack it up. Okay, so the next step, before you jack this car up, you want to unloosen these nuts. Why? Because the tire will simply keep spinning, so use the weight of the car to hold this tire in place while you unloosen the nuts. To loosen the tire, you want to go lefty-loosey or counterclockwise. So simply twist it this way. You don't have to take the nut off entirely, just loosen it and then make your way around. Now just to note, some of the newer cars, they might have these wheel locks. This is simply just to prevent theft. Keep this in your glove box so that if it's laid out and it's dark, you know where to find it. So I got my emergency brake set, I got my jack in place, I've loosened up my nuts, now it's time to jack it up. So we're gonna take the hook side, and simply put it right inside the hole so that it's secure. And then you notice this, the same size as the hole in this. Simply slide this in place, and then we're gonna start to jack it up. Just like this. Hold on to this, and hold on to this. Okay, so now that the tire is jacked, we got a nice space underneath here. Just simply take off the nuts. Make sure you keep them all together so that you don't lose them. Hold the tire down in place, because as you start to take off the nuts, it's going to start to move around and make it hard for you to twist the nuts off. Okay, so I took off my flat tire, now I got my donut or my spare, and I'm going to put it on. Make sure this side is on the inside. Okay, now ladies, this part right here might be the hardest part for you because you have to lift up this tire and it can be a little heavy. The trick is, slide it as close as you can and then you wanna line up these holes with the bolts before you have to lift it up. And then conserve your energy, do it all at once and try to do it as few times as possible. If you can get it the first time, great. Lift it, twist, lock it in. Take the nut, put it on the bottom one first. Now you're done. And then do the top one. And then finish the rest of them. When you're putting on your spare or your donut, just simply tighten it with your hands. Okay, you're not gonna try to lock it and tighten it up too much because the tire is just gonna keep spinning anyway. So, tighten it so that the tire is in place. Then you're gonna lower it and then you're gonna tighten it with the bar. for the final step. The car is lowered, tighten it up. We're gonna go clockwise this time. All right guys, so that's it. We got our tire on, done, and simple, that easy. Now if you have a donut on your car, make sure you don't drive for too long or driving the highway. It's really just a temporary fix. Also, just to recap on what we did today. One, pull the emergency brake so the car doesn't roll. Two, set the jack underneath the car, find the metal bar. Three, unloosen the nuts, Go back to the jack for step four, 
lift up the car. At that point, you're going to take the nuts off entirely, take off the tire, put on the spare tire or donut, twist in the nuts with your hands, and then lower the car. At that point, you simply tighten it up fully, and you're all done. It's that simple. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to me on the link below. Don't forget to subscribe, and look forward to more do-it-yourself with Seth Fury.